More than 50 health organizations are uniting to now support the vaccine mandates at health care and long term care facilities. Among them, the American Medical Association and the American Academy of Pediatrics. The group says that vaccinations are the, quote, primary way to put the pandemic behind us and avoid the return of stringent public health measures. New York City is taking the vaccine mandate one step further, expanding it to all city workers. Unvaccinated workers have until mid-September to either get fully vaccinated or opt for weekly COVID tests. Mayor Bill de Blasio says the timing is due to students returning to school and more employers bringing back employees in the fall. A lot of coronavirus news to get to at this hour. Let's start with CNBC senior health and science reporter Meg Terrell. Uh, Meg, uh, let's start with here here in New York, this vaccine mandate we've been talking about. How many people are included in this expansion and, and how does the city plan to roll this out and track all these vaccines? This affects a lot of people, about 340,000 municipal workers, firefighters, police uh, forces, teachers. They're going to start with about 45,000 of the workers who are in congregate settings. They're going to have an earlier deadline, and then everybody will either have to get vaccinated or get weekly tests by back to school September 13th. And in order to track all of this, the city's launching a new app where it'll be able to track either your vaccination status or those weekly tests to make sure people are complying with this guys. You know, the Biden administration is uh, considering, has been talking about booster shots for people who are in higher risk groups and people who are over the age of 65. Any more specifics at this point about that effort? Yeah, we've seen a lot of back and forth about this. There's a lot of concern that talking about the need for booster shots now might deter people who haven't gotten their first shots yet from going and getting vaccinated. And so the administration has been really kind of cagey on this. But the New York Times reported over the weekend that senior health officials in the Biden administration are now leaning toward at least people who are over 65 and those with compromised immune systems needing a potential booster dose. And we've been seeing some data coming out of Israel suggesting that the protection from at least the Pfizer vaccine might start to wane in about six months. And these are the folks who got vaccinated the earliest. And so it's interesting to hear they're talking about potentially needing a booster for them. Meg, we all pay close attention when Dr. Fauci speaks. And he said that uh, he said it repeatedly that a future pandemic is almost guaranteed in some way or another. He says that he has an ambitious plan to try to combat any sort of uh, pandemic that may come along. What's he saying about his plan? Yeah, this was also reported separately in the New York Times this weekend um, that Dr. Fauci is talking about a plan that would cost maybe a few billion dollars every year, take a lot of different scientists to start work on vaccines for potential future threats before they become threats. We kind of got lucky with the coronavirus very unluckily in most ways, but in the scientific way, that work had already started with mRNA vaccines on other coronaviruses, so they knew what to do. So this would establish that for other pandemic threats. But this is not a new idea. There is another organization called CEPI, which was founded in 2016 to do the exact same thing. And it's made a lot of progress, but clearly Dr. Fauci thinks it needs to be organized in a different way. Sounds like a smart idea for sure. Meg Terrell at CNBC for us. Meg, thank you. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.